autonomous vehicles. Now, vehicles have been around for about 100 years now, and many com companies are moving to change everything about them. And they're making autonomous vehicles that drive everybody around. Right. In 1940, Cadillac produced the first automatic transmission. And in 1960, Cadillac also produced cruise control that allowed people to do less. And it became standard on all Cadillacs, and a bunch of other companies adopted that. And nowadays, companies are taking apart cars and taking away all the vital pieces that people don't really need anymore. I don't hold any grudges personally against autonomous vehicles. It's just, it seems like a lazy way for people to get around. And, and in many road tests, there have been accidents where the vehicles can't handle certain situations. So people wind up getting hurt. But one of the upsides to it is that elderly people or disabled people will be able to get around a lot safer than if they were to drive themselves. And traffic will move a lot more efficiently than it does now. Alongside assisting the elderly and the disabled, these vehicles will allow for people who may not be good at driving to get around. Another downside to the software having a few nervous breakdowns is that driver cannot manually stop the vehicle in some models, or even control it. And alongside of all of that, it has a hefty price tag of 30000 just for the solar panels and the sensors and everything else. And I don't imagine you'll be able to just be in work, work in your shop to fix all the solar panels and the navigation and the sensors and all that. And it's bound to be expensive because of it. In 1964, Ford produced the first Mustang, and it was one of the most widely sold vehicles in the world. And in 2019, GM, GM is rolling out their first autonomous vehicle. It doesn't have a steering wheel, brakes, or a gas pedal, and it appears as if the trials will be on a contained area. In a conference between Mary Barra, GM's chief executive, said that the vehicle would be able to safely hit 30 miles per hour. On the 2019 GM car, it looks as if you have to pay a technician to do anything to the engine or the satellites or the solar panels. Alongside the low speed, low speed I imagine these vehicles will strain to get up any inclines. Autonomous vehicles seem to like horsepower customization and a number of other things because of an electrical engine. Overall, I feel that the companies are rushing in at this too fast and that will wind up having to pay the price for it. Whether it be in wreck expenses or wrecks that involve pedestrians being hurt, injured or killed. Also, if these vehicles cannot be manually controlled by the driver and the firewall protecting the databases that hold all the, store, all the maps and whatnot, they can be attacked by terrorists and it can cause the vehicles to wreck into things and kill people. And it just opens up whole new ways for havoc to come into fruition.